This conference will now be recorded. Basically, the data in SAP is divided into three types. Okay, so one is configuration data. Configuration data. Next one is master data. Third one is the transactional data. So we will understand this. What is this data? How they are uh, defined in the system? Or how they are uh, used in the system? We will understand in the subsequent slides. Okay. So basically, uh, configuration data. Configuration data is often referred to as one-time data. Okay. This means that the data should not change, but if it does, it will be tracked and controlled. So configuration data is like a one-time data. Okay, so normally the consultants will do this configuration, and whenever this configuration is done, it will be tracked through a transport request. All the all the configuration normally you do, it will be saved in a transport request, and during using the transport request, it will be tracked. Okay, so let me show you this in the in the system. Okay, so where this transport request is, uh, where this configuration data we can see. So to go to configuration, we need to go to SPRO. SPR in the command field, type SPRO, click on enter. So you will get this screen. Customizing Execute Project. Okay, so here you need to click on this button. SAP reference IMG implementation guide. IMG means implementation. Click on this. You will get this one. Display IMG. So this is the way. This is the place where the configuration data is set up. Okay. So let's say for QM quality management module. So the configuration is done normally at here. Quality management. Here you see there is a node called quality management. Here you will do. If you open this, here you have. Okay, suppose let's say go to basic settings. Okay, maintain settings at plant level. When we go to the respective topics, we will discuss the configuration, but I will show you whenever you do some configuration or whenever you do uh, make some changes to the configuration, it will create it here. Suppose if I go to maintain settings at plant level. Suppose let's say I have this plant, triple zero one. I'll make some changes to this con plant configuration. Suppose let me go to details. Okay. Suppose let's say I'll go to results recording. Okay. Suppose here recording configuration. I'll put it as close navigate save automatically. Suppose let's say I'll, I'll make this change. I'll make this change. Let me save this. The moment I say, the system will ask for a transport request. All the configuration changes or all the configurations will be saved in a transport request. So it will asking for a transport request. Let me create a request. Click on this button, create request. I'll give a name. Okay, then click on the button save. So now it will generate a transport request. So all the configuration changes or the new configurations will be tracked through this transport request and they will be moved across the servers from development to quality, quality to production. They, these changes or the new configuration will be moved using this transport request. So this is the configuration data. This is like a one-time data. You will not do it frequently, only as and when required, you will be doing this configuration. So configuration data normally will set up by the consultants. Okay, next one is the master data. So master data is built upon the configuration. So first you do configuration data. Using that configuration data, you will be doing the master data. You will be creating the master data. So now we will understand what is master data. Master data is often referred to as slowly changing data. This means data of a particular object does not change all the time, 
but often several times a year okay so it will not change all the time but you change it sometimes frequently okay so to have the master data first you have to have the configuration so in our qm module in the qm module normally the master data is okay material master which we will discuss subsequent in subsequent classes material master okay mic's sampling procedure sampling procedure okay inspection plan so these are uh, some of the master data in uh, your module okay suppose let's i'll explain how this metal master how this master data works okay suppose let's say i have created a material okay so let me go to one of the material i'm in the mm60 i'll take one of the metal i created i created this material Okay, called sugar. Called sugar. So for this material, if I go to the metal master. Okay, this is the metal code. Okay, suppose if I go to material, we will discuss all these things in the subsequent classes. Metal master. Here, this is the metal code, and here the metal description is sugar. Suppose, let's say I want to create a inspection lot for this material. Suppose, let me go to change. So let me maintain the inspection type. Okay. Okay. So, now, suppose let's say I want to create a lot. Okay, QA01. Okay, so here I entered the material, I entered the plant. Okay, I'm entering the plant and lot origin. We will discuss all these things in the subsequent classes. I'm just showing you how the master data works. So here I have just entered the metal code. Okay, now I entered the plant, I entered the lot origin. The moment I click on enter, see what do you observe? Here, system is fetching the materials description automatically. Okay, I have not entered the description sugar. So, system automatically from the metal master description, from the metal master, let me, let me go to display mode. Okay, so from the metal master, system is fetching here automatically description. So that means for user no need to enter again the description value and also here if you see the unit of measure kg kg is automatically coming from the metal master in the metal master we maintained base unit of measure as kg. so whenever you create any transactional data system will read the information from the it's it's master data and it will propose so that is the importance of the metal master master data master data so that's how the master data is used now the next one so this is the one so we discussed the configuration data okay then the master data okay different master data in different modules then the last one is the transactional data okay so transactional data is everyday business performs everyday business performs tens of thousands of transactions that make the business function so transactional data is like a day-to-day -day business data okay so like in the in the in the qm module we have inspection lots inspection lots so these inspection lots either users can create manually or they, they get created automatically so whenever they want to do quality inspection for a material they have to have the inspection lot so this is the day-to-day -day business transactional data Okay, let's like suppose let's say in MM module, they create purchase order. They want to purchase a material. They create purchase orders. That is transactional data. In PP, in production planning model, they create production orders. To manufacture a product, they create everyday production orders. That is transactional data. Transactional data is day-to-day -day business data. Normally, this will be created by the end users. End users. 
okay so in our in our uh, qm the the normally the day to day uh, uh, transactional data is inspection log inspection log so i'll show you some inspection logs in the system which is already there in the system okay if you go to qa32 if you go to q32 we will be discussing all these things in the subsequent classes so let me just show you the inspection logs let me select the radio button select all inspection logs i just entered the plant 1000 and export you see here we have so many inspection logs here so many inspection logs here okay this is the inspection lot number this is the material this is the plant quantity and you have some inspection lots are already closed already closed okay like this you can look at let me do one thing let me let me select only the open lots i'll select only the open lots see now you have got the open lots so this is this is the transactional data so they have to inspect this material this material this much quantity so like this you have the inspection so this is the transactional data every day day to day business data so basically you have three types of data one is configuration data configuration data okay this is normally created by the consultants consultants normally next one is master data master data this is normally created by the consultants or core users consultants or core users core users next one is a transactional data transactional data this is created by the this is normally done by the end users end users this is the day-to-day -day business data transactional data okay. so you will understand more about this in the subsequent classes when we go to the in detail you go to the respective topics in detail. so basically you should at this point of time you should know that configuration data what is master data and what is transactional data okay so to have the master data in place you should have the prerequisites you should have configuration data. and to perform the transactional data the prerequisites are you should have the configuration data and master data in place okay so that's all about the uh, data types in a